All right, Ghost Boys, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make yourself a pair of divining rods, divinity rods, or uh, dowsing rods, whatever you want to call them. You can uh, make them. They're pretty simple. You need an ink pen. You need a wire coat hanger that's been uh, straightened out and a pair of needle nose. And you really need a ruler, but I don't use a ruler. What I do, for quick reference, is I know how long my hand is. My hand's about eight inches to there. And then I go from there, one and a half, a half time over. And that's about right, right there. That's how I do it. I do one and a half hands. And that's about the length. You need about 12 to 15 inches for the blade. And then you'll need another hand width, hand width for the handle. Come up here, take your clippers. Clip them off. Pick up your stuff or you're going to get in trouble. And then take... Your clippers, your uh, needle nose, and round this end right here off. And try to make it a very neat and a very uh, tight as you can. Because this is going to be the bottom. Okay? That's going to be the bottom. And then you've, you've took your pen... And you've hollowed out your pen so there's nothing in it. See, it's empty. And you take your clothes hang coat hanger and uh, feed it in so that the wire goes through and then just tighten it back down uh, you always got to get it just as straight as you can too uh, you got to get it straight Right, see how it slides back and forth real freely and it sits right down there and can spin it's the way you put your loop see the loop it comes together but it does have a down angle and then that way most of the time the pin will set perfectly on that and then you want to come up here and give it some leeway come up about an inch and what I like doing is the opposite way that this curls around I keep it flat find my area that I want to bend at put my wire pliers right there and twist try to get it sorry try to uh, bend it to where it's a good 90 degree but no more and you don't want to crack it and then you'll spend the rest of your time getting these little imperfections out of the piece of wire because no matter what anybody tells you ghosts don't like bent wire it's hard for them to uh move it because you know they grab a hold and 
move it with their energy. Now it can be a little twisted. It ain't got to be completely perfect. But there is your dowsing rod. You can make this as short or as long as you want. And uh, hold it in your hand as long as it'll twirl back and forth. You're good to go. You're not touching anything. You're not touching the wire. You don't have to touch the wire. Uh, then that way you can prove to people you're not manipulating it. Uh, I got a little more here than I want, especially right here. But it still gives a good straight turn. The pin will spin freely all the way around it. So that's what we're going to call a dowsing rod. You make two of them and put your thumbs together and hold them out straight in your hand and uh, that's it. Balance them out, get them balanced and start asking your questions of your spirit. Now I will tell you I like mine to angle down just a little bit whenever I'm using the dowsing rods and uh, what have you but uh, trying to set this up so you can see me uh, there you go <laughs> all right ghosty boys listen we just made a dowsing rod a uh, divining rod or whatever you want to call it out of a pin and a wire clothes hanger cut the pin bend your wire properly and you are on your way Ghosty boys, y'all have a good one. I'm out for right now. I will be back here in a little bit to tell you what's found out later.